So for those of you wondering what the spring and summer of 2018 hold weather-wise, here is the spring and summer forecast. The spring 2018 and summer 2018 seasonal forecast for the U.S. according to the old Farmer's Almanac. And in case you're wondering um, what the winter forecast will be for the U.S. according to the old Farmer's Almanac for winter of 2017 and 2018 you can just uh, go through my videos and i uploaded a video with the winter forecast for the u.s on september 29 2017. okay so here goes so for area one the northeast April and May will be rainier than normal with near normal temperatures. Summer will be hotter and slightly drier than normal with the hottest periods in early June, early and mid July, and early August. Area, area number two, the Atlantic Corridor. April and May will be slightly rainier than normal with near normal temperatures. Summer will be hotter than normal with the hottest periods in early June, early, early July, and early to and early and mid to late August. Rainfall will be below normal in the north and above in the south. Area number three is the Appalachians. So for the Appalachians, April and May will be rainier, than nor rainier and cooler than normal. Summer will be hotter and slightly rainier than normal with the hottest periods in early June, early July, and late August. Area number four, the southeast. So for area four, the southeast, April and May will be drier than normal. Temperatures will be near normal in the south and below in the north. Summer will be slightly hotter than normal on, on average with above normal rainfall. The hottest periods will be in early to mid-June, early August, and mid to late August. Area 5, Florida. April and May will be a bit hotter and, hotter and drier than normal. Summer will be slightly hotter than normal, with the hottest periods in early June, early July, and early to mid-August. Rainfall will be above normal, especially in the south. Area 6, the Lower Lakes. April and May will be warmer and slightly drier than normal. Summer will be hotter and drier than normal. The hottest periods will be in early to mid and late July and mid-August. Number seven, the Ohio Valley. April and May will be cooler and rainier, and rainier than, let me start again. April and May will be cooler and rainier than normal. Summer will be hotter and slightly rainier than normal with the hottest periods in early July, early August, and mid to late August.
Area number eight is the deep south. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Area number eight is the deep south. So in the deep south, April and May will be cooler and rainier than normal. Summer will be hot. Summer will be hotter and rainier than normal, with the hottest periods in early and mid-July and mid-August. Watch for a tropical storm threat in late August. Area number nine, the upper Midwest. April and May will be cooler than normal with near normal precipitation. Summer will be hotter than normal with near normal precipitation. The hottest periods will be in late June, late July, and early to mid-August. Area number 10 is the heartland. And in the heartland, um, April and May will be cooler and rainier than normal. Summer will be hotter than normal with slightly below normal rainfall. The hottest periods will be in early and, mid, early and late June, early and late July, and mid-August. Area number 11, Texas, Oklahoma. April and May will be cooler and rainier than normal. Summer will be cooler and rainier than normal with hottest periods in mid-July and mid-August. Expect a hurricane threat in late August. Area number 12 is the High Plains. So in the High Plains, April and May will be cooler than normal with precipitation a bit above normal. Summer will be a bit hotter than, will be a bit hotter than normal with slightly below nor normal rainfall. The hottest periods will be in early and mid to late July and mid-August. Area 13, Intermount, Intermountain. April and May will be warmer and slightly drier than normal. Summer will be drier than normal, with temperatures warmer than normal in the north and cooler in the south. The hottest periods will be in late June, early and late July, and early and late August. Fourteenth Desert Southwest. April and May will be slightly rainier than normal. With temperatures below normal in the east and near normal in the west. Summer will be slightly hotter than normal with the hottest periods in mid and late June and early August. Rainfall will be below normal in the, in the northwest and above normal in the southeast. Area 15 is the Pacific Northwest. April and May will be warmer and drier than normal. Summer will be warmer and rainier than normal, with the hottest temperatures in mid-June and early and mid to late July.
Area 16, the Pacific Southwest. April and May will be slightly drier. April and May will be slightly drier than normal. Temperatures will be below normal near the coast and above normal inland. Summer will be cooler than normal with near normal rainfall. The hottest periods will be from late May into early June and in mid-June and mid-July. Seventeen, Alaska. April and May will be warmer than normal with slightly above normal precipitation. Summer will be, will be cooler and a bit rainier than normal with the hottest periods in early July and mid-August. And last but not least, area number 18. Hawaii. April and May will be slightly cooler than will be slightly cooler and drier than normal. Summer temperatures will be cooler than normal on average, with slightly below normal rainfall. The warmest period will be in mid June. Okay, so there you have it. Um, Spring and summer 2018 forecast for the U.S. according to the Old Farmer's Almanac. An Old Farmer's Almanac cl claims to be accurate 80% of the time. So I guess uh, we'll find out, won't we? Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.